close. And again, when you just play the straight scale, it sounds sort of uh, sort of clinical or just certainly not bluesy. It's the art comes in and, and taking the notes of that scale, figuring out which ones are important to the chord, and uh, doing all the slides and bends around it. Let me show you a scale I came up with that is in that same position as your first chord, so you don't have to move your hand all over the place, but you can play over this chord. It goes like this. And it's uh, not really consistent throughout the octaves. It changes, just makes it easier on your fingers. And for me, it's real good for phrasing. I'll give you an example. If you're playing an A, then you go to that four chord, and you can go. And it outlines that real well in that scale. And you can do the same thing with the five chord. Just move that scale up. Back down. Then back down to your one chord. And uh, it's a real useful scale. The, uh, the other notes that I like to add when playing blues are the, uh, of course, the blues note, which is the flat five. Or the tritone. Uh, in context, it sounds really, really, really nice with a pentatonic scale. And of course, you can still use your minor to major third moves. And I think the last really important note to consider is the major sixth, which uh, a lot of times is, I, can, I think of it as the Dorian note. It's a note that's specific to the Dorian mode. And it's also a note that sounds real good over that four chord. So that comes into play a lot, because certainly that four chord happens all the time in a blues progression. some more notes to use for the blues scale. Here's some more techniques that you can use to play them. Uh, here's some techniques that are sweeps, which for me are always a little bit frightening there. It's a difficult technique, or at least it is for me. Uh, so these are fairly short, so they're not quite as hard. Uh, the first one is hopefully pretty easy. It's, this is one of the easier ones for me because it's based on a chord that you see pretty often. If you're in the key of E, you just play a uh, major E triad. <laughs> But the trick is, since it's one note per string, you can do three downstrokes right in a row. And it sort of makes it into one, one move. It's not three separate motions like this. You don't, you don't ever really come up to, to go back. You just go down three times right in one direction. And uh, then I go up to the seventh. And the seventh would be an upstroke. So it's three downs and an up. And sometimes I'll even start on the seventh lower with an upstroke also. So it'd be up, down, 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 up. And from there, of course, you want to do some bends and some of those cool phrasing licks. Another one that I like to do is very similar technique, just a wider stretch up on these notes. I start uh, this time on the G note, and here's the sweep. It's uh, the blues note, which would be a B flat, 
a uh, C sharp, which would be your uh, major sixth, that Dorian note. Then here we have the uh, E, it's a key where it ends, that always works. Then I end on the minor third G, which is in the pentatonic scale. I bend that a little bit to make it sound like that major one. I think I'll try a big, huge one here. This is uh, another suite, but this one's much larger. It's the uh, the king of them all here. It starts in the low E. It has uh, three notes that are swept. It'd be the uh, the root, the third, and the fifth. Then I go up to the seventh with my pinky. So it's three downs and an up. Then I slide back up to the root. Do this shape here, which is four down strokes right in a row but you want them to sound separately, so you move your fingers. And then I go up to the E with my second finger and the G sharp with my pinkies. That's a pretty long one. I'll play it slow for you. And uh, that one takes a bit of work, but uh, give it a try. With some distortion, that can sound real smooth. You can even add little things on top with your uh, finger here like this. Let me give it a shot. So, in my never-ending quest to try to be analytical about everything, I decided to make a blue scale that had all the notes of the pentatonic scale as well as all the extra ones that I've uh, just talked about. Uh, so I played that pentatonic scale, and I decided to add the, uh, the major third. I decided to add the flat five, and of course the major sixth. And just for the heck of it, I threw in one more, the ninth. Oh man, it gets confusing with all those notes. Let me try it again. There it is. And uh, to try to get out of just playing a straight scale up and down, I came up with this pattern and this fingering. Check this out. a little bit slower. A lot of notes. It, uh, it's kind of a cool kind of fusion-y thing. So that's all the, uh, all the extra notes added in, sort of going in one direction, but it also works real well just to play a straight pentatonic and add those extra notes wherever they're going to work well. It's sort of an art to it, but uh, the more you do it, the more it works. Mm -hmm.